Deep down, Audrey Lapidus knew something was wrong. As a baby, her son Calvin wasn't reaching normal milestones like rolling over or crawling. Four specialists in batteries of tests later, it was still a mystery. Until one day, she saw a doctor at UCLA Health who offered a glimmer of hope. Just very fortuitously, as I was pushing for more testing, our geneticist said, if you can wait one more month, we're going to be launching this brand new test called the exome. With that, Calvin was the first patient to undergo a type of genetic testing known as exome sequencing. Diseases like Calvin's are so rare, doctors have to rely on genetic testing to try and find clues to his condition. In the past, those tests were done one gene at a time, which was expensive. But this powerful next generation technology allows doctors to analyze more than 20,000 genes at once at a fraction of the cost. Oftentimes, we're now turning to exome sequencing, sequencing every single protein coding gene in one fell swoop as the go-to diagnostic test. Sequencing is like doing a spell check on your genes and making sure that there are no mistakes or spell check, spelling mistakes that could be causing problems with your health. Soon after exome sequencing, which only requires a blood sample from the patient, Calvin was diagnosed with a rare condition known as Pitt-Hopkins syndrome. The diagnosis gave us um, a point to move forward from, rather than that really scary no man's land of not knowing. Armed with that information, Calvin got a head start on therapy and is now making strides that seemed unlikely not long ago. With this technology, doctors can search 7,000 disease-causing genes for just a few thousand dollars, which could lead to finding the genetic changes in diseases ranging from autism to cancer. Dr. Max Gomez, CBS2 News.